I have a Kenwood TS830S, no high voltage. Question is, is can we simply change out the high voltage caps and solve this problem? Let's find out. We'll take a look with the ESR meter. That cap doesn't look good. And neither does that one. Let's get them swapped out. Our new caps are installed. Let's check them with my nifty little meter. Looking good. Now we have capacitance showing. Let's get it powered up and test it. Here we go. We're testing the A30. Here's my ALC. You see I have output. Go to IP. Dip it. Let's take a look at the high voltage. There it is. So yes, chances are pretty good. You can repair the high voltage on your Kenwood 830S by simply changing out those filter caps. If you have one of these rigs, remember, these caps are about 40 years old. Change them before you use the transceiver. So if you like these videos that D-Lab's producing and you want to buy me a glass of wine, go to my website and there's a button and it says, buy D-Lab a glass of wine. That would be really cool.